Michigan Technological University has a new vice president for diversity and inclusion. I spoke with him to learn about the importance of making everyone feel welcome on their campus. About 1% of Michigan Technological University's student population is black. In, in sheer numbers, it's about 71 students. Wayne Gersey has been with Tech for about three months now. He felt his mission blended well with what the university was looking for. So when I came to campus and I talked to some folks, primarily the executive leadership, uh, as well as the community, I really felt that there was a sense of commitment to the work for diversity, equity, and inclusion and how we were going to go about moving forward together as a community. So therefore, I was in. I was, I was persuaded to, to come here. I asked Gersey what would be a common misconception a black student might face on campus. They don't want to come to a snowy rural place like uh, Michigan Tech or Houghton or Hancock. And, and, I, and I disagree with that. I, I feel that if we continue to promote diversity, equity, and inclusion and create a welcoming space for them, uh, that they'll want to be here. Gersey says most students want a space that's emotionally and physically safe. And part of it is through dialogue, developing a greater understanding, but more importantly, making a commitment in terms of our actions. And we are really trying hard and doing our best, and, and you know, we're, we're, we're going to continue to do that so students feel that commitment and see that commitment, as well as our other stakeholders. And um, making sure that everyone here feels that, that sense of belonging through our actions. So specific things are related to relationship building and, and communication. When it comes to acceptance and making a change, Gersey says it takes willingness. To me, it's fundamental to any interaction you have with someone who's different than you is willingness to learn and engage them. Uh, there, there might be issues where there's differences, but in having those communications, be willing to, one, suspend your judgment, listen to their story, let them tell their story. Um, so I call it actively listen to people telling their story and, and leaning into discomfort to get a greater understanding of their story. And I think if we can do that in a meaningful way, we'll be able to develop a level of empathy to understand each other better. So I think it's essential to any conversation, any progress we, we make to any discord there is, is to have empathy to try to understand where the other side is coming from. And if we do that in a meaningful and respectful way, we can make progress and somehow maybe we won't have to have these conversations.